Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a little tip here on how to connect your Bluetooth headset to your Android 2.0 smartwatch. Now, keep in mind, I am using the LG Watch Sport. This smartphone has actually Bluetooth, NFC, and it also has GPS. And but before we start, let's go ahead and show you guys how this smartwatch actually sounds using just the speakers integrated to the smartwatch. Let's go ahead here and launch the play uh this is the app uh, of course you could use spotify or any application that has audio for this video i'm using the google play music app uh right here i'm gonna go ahead and launch some wireless let's go play on watch there you go let for the music to start the reason i'm using this soundtrack is because it's uh copyright free so there you go this is this audio is actually coming out from the smartwatch uh here you got the volume you can see here i put the volume is all the way up sounds pretty badass there you go incredible sounds it sounds pretty loud for the fact that it's actually coming from your watch and it also sounds that way when you receive phone calls because remember this uh, smartwatch actually can be used as a phone so when somebody's talking to you that's how loud it actually sounds and of course you can actually control the volume of the person who's talking to you as well but first let's go ahead and connect some headset um here i'm gonna go actually gonna be connecting these speakers because you won't be able to listen to the sound coming out from the headsets since uh, of course uh, we're using a, a camera uh, here, let's go ahead. there here. Bluetooth. First of all, of course, settings, right? Go to connections, connectivity. Go to Bluetooth, right? Over here on your device, whatever Bluetooth device you have, make sure you turn it on. This is in pairing mode, right? Let's see. Yeah, it should be in pairing mode. Uh, it's blinking there. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and hear available devices. And there it is, A226. That's the name of these speakers. I'm gonna press it right there. Of course, if you have a, a, an LG headset or a Samsung headset, that's the name you're gonna get right there. Connection has been completed. All right, let's go ahead back again. And like you see here, now these headset that I have here are the Trex Titanium Aftershocks. These are my favorite headsets that I've been using for a while uh, because they're bone conductive headsets and i love them uh so right now the speakers that i chose was these these are cheap speakers and they're a226 right there right now we can go ahead and press the this button right here uh now let's go ahead and play some sound oops no nope. go back again there to the face go and press blow for the app section let's go to the music play some sound there you go of course, I can still control the audio from here. It sounds incredible. And of course, here you can up the volume. That's incredible sounds pretty damn cool so of course you might be asking why would you want to um, connect your headset to your smartwatch the reason is is because this smartwatch and a lot of the android wear 2.0 smartwatch coming out are gonna have gps this one has gps and a lot of them are actually gonna have the bluetooth connectivity I'm, i believe every smartwatch actually has it and of course a lot of them are going to be standalone smartwatches meaning that you can actually use your smartwatch without your cell phone like this one uh, because this one actually in the bottom of here it actually has a sim card where you connect where you just put in a nano sim card and you can actually use your smartphone as a standalone phone um smart watch as a standalone standalone phone uh right here if you go here to sound and notifications right you can actually see the ring volumes ring volumes is right here and 
here you have ring watch ringtones it's going to show you guys the ringtones available on the lg watch uh, of course depending what smart watch you actually have um you might be getting different ringtones ring, 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 ring. i like this one oh. I like that one. So that's that's the one I I, I leave it on. And it actually has this one. That's pretty cool. So yeah, leave it there. So gonna get, go back again. So yeah, that's the reason why you would want to use your headsets with your smartwatch. Uh, I already test this uh, process already two times already. I connected the headset with my smartwatch. I turned on the GPS. I went for a run twice already. And the connectivity was perfectly good, just like any connection to a smartwatch, to a smartphone. But instead of the smartphone, it was connected to the smartwatch. And I was actually tracking my, my run and listening to music using the smartwatch on its own without my, my cell phone. I actually left my cell phone behind. And since it has GPS, of course, you can track your run. You, uh, and it, uh, it calculates the distance and everything. And the music, of course, using the, I use, um, Google Music, but you can actually use Spotify or any other music application as well so guys that's it for this video just want to share this little tip with you guys on how to connect your bluetooth headset to your smartwatch of course i'm here i'm using the lg watch sport but this process is actually going to be compatible with any smartwatch android 2.0 with the same features so thanks for watching the video guys till next time